What have you been up to? Anything fun? Getting hit in the first room, that's not good. <laughs> oh, crawl space. That's oh, for real? I got black market on the first room of the run. Uh, you know it's a crawl space. Uh, you notice this one? There's no ladder inside of the hole. That means it goes down to the next floor. If it's a uh, crawl space, you'll see a ladder in it. Like that. <laughs> yep, yep, anytime. I, I had a, uh, I had a hard time until somebody told me that as well. Especially when you get the, uh, the later floors where the hole is like, it's like a ventricle kind of thing. Oh yeah, I was like, why do I have like the Monstro? <laughs> Man, I haven't played this, but so when was the last time I did exercise? It's like two weeks ago. I'm already this rusty. <laughs> Alright, what do we got, Widow? Yeah, that's awesome. I wish, uh, wish my I wish my wife liked this game. <laughs> how how far have you guys gotten? Can't wait for the expansion. It was supposed to come out in a few weeks, but it got delayed officially. <laughs> That's good. That's about as far as I am now. Um, Trying to clean up the first kind of round of bosses, and then trying to get to the second round of bosses. I haven't, I haven't beat Mega Satan yet either.
It's hard getting like the keys and everything and then Yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping it'll be it'll be great. So I was trying to complete this file before it came out. Which I think I'm like roughly halfway through. I saw that there was a mod that came out recently that was like a whole expansion on its own. It was un unofficial, but I've seen a lot of people been playing it. It looks really cool. Oh, I always do that in this room. I'm always like, it's safe to take at least one step over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I play on Switch a lot, too. But yeah, I got, uh, I, I got to Mega Satan once, and I had half a heart, so I basically just instantly died. <laughs> yeah, I lo like, as someone who loves indie games, like, the Switch has been one of my all-time favorite consoles. Like, I feel like it's just set up perfectly for indie games. The only mod- the only mod I run on PC is, uh... Is the item descriptions, and that's just so I don't have to sit here and Google stuff on stream. <laughs> Alright, that's 20. I don't have my rep command set up anymore because I reset my bot. So I need to have like a, a checklist right here. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. All right, what are we doing here? 20 reps in, feeling good, getting warmed up. Balls of steel, nice, always. Oh. Oh, thank you. But I could spend two bombs to get four bombs. And there's Tinted Rock over there. 
I see you tinted rock. I know what you're doing. But, alright, I can buy something in the store. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad when it's on the pencil, but I don't know if you ever got, like, Monstro's Lung, where that's your only attack and it's a charge attack. That gets, uh, pretty whack sometimes. <laughs> Alright, we got Tinted Rock down here. Bam. There we go. Yeah, it's called, uh, I think it's called Enhanced Item Descriptions, or it might just be called Item Descriptions. Yeah, it's the, it's the only mod I run. I try, I try not to mod the game too much and try to keep it as vanilla as possible, but... That one is just such a time saver, especially when you're streaming. Not sitting there going through the Isaac wiki the whole time in your life. <laughs> yeah, no, what, one time I got the craziest combo where I had like eight different forms of brimstone. But the charge was like 15 seconds or something ridiculous. <laughs> so I could, I could like clear the whole room, but I would have to stand there and dodge attacks. So it was almost just as bad as just fighting people normally. Yeah. That's the worst part is when you're like, oh, I'm not going to Google this. <laughs> And then you just get, uh, you pick up the one item that, like, breaks your whole build. <laughs> that's always, that's always the worst. Or before I knew what, uh, the six die room did, before I knew that it re-rolled your whole build, I would just walk into that room and just re-roll a good build for no reason. Oh, I was going to say potential secret room, but no. Hope this pill is something good. Retro. No, six retro visions. <laughs> Who wants that? Alright, so I'm guessing the secret room is... Gotta be one of these two up here. Could be either. Go. Hit him with the pencil so perfectly, that was crazy. Oh, and Krampus. Hi, Krampus. Krampus head. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. That uh, pencil's been saving my life here.
All right, that puts that 30 for the day. The only kind of the kind of cheap thing about this mod though is that like I can walk up I can walk up to this and know what card it is where if I didn't have it I would have to bomb the rock and pick it up to see what it is so it saves me a bomb technically but it's not the it's not the worst thing in the world I guess I know, right? Pretty, uh, pretty low impact to the overall game, though. <laughs> but it uh, does save you a bomb every once in a while. What? Oh, look at me! I'm just hanging out with the guys. You're dead. Ah, uh, these guys are so aggro. That's cr go Krampus on you, sir. I oh, guess yeah, so my uh my album is getting close to 500 500 listens right now, which is pretty cool. The, um, the distribution company I use for my music, they have a feature where it's like a Wheel of Fortune wheel and you can spin it once a day. And it, it's numbered like 1 through 2,500. And like whatever you land on, your so one of your songs gets put on their Spotify play playlist at that position. Until someone else like rolls higher than you, then you get like bumped down and bumped down. Kind of thing is it, it's pretty cool. Any way where you can gamify real life. All right, so I can have or this or this. Ooh, that was a gamble. <laughs> Locked doors coming off this room. Ain't trolling me today, Mr. Bomb. Or does not affect? I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter if it pops off, but... Alright. 
crawl space. I guess. He's got it going on over here. That was kind of lame. If you're gonna make me go on a crawl space, at least give me an item. Not two pennies and a key. Come on. I am ro rolling in cash right now. Nothing to spend it on. Hey fatty, how'd you even fit through that portal? There's no truth in this game. I swear. Fatty's going through portals. <laughs> Should I just roll the the random devil room item? Duffy's tail. Alright, that puts us at 40 reps for the day. Doing good. First day back. So I, the reason why I stopped doing exercise like, is because I hurt my shoulder. No reason, I just slept on it weird. And then as it as it felt better, I pull <laughs> I pulled my back. Then you know back Back injuries take a week or two to heal. But I was, uh... I was carrying, uh... A, a heavy box inside. It wasn't super heavy, like, I wasn't being irresponsible about it, but... Um... The... While I was carrying it inside, the handle of the box broke. And I just, like, gut reaction tried to catch the box instead of just letting it fall. And then... Twisted my back, trying to catch it. But feeling good now. We'll get back to exercising. I get back to doing other exercises as well, not on stream. But. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I take it easy, even if it is just lifting 30 pounds <laughs> while playing video games. But. It's always good to be safe and careful when you're doing any sort of physical activity. Love the sickle, the sickle shot like that, but 
like, is there an item that gives you just the sickle shot? Because I feel like I always see it in, like, randomized shot items. The Emperor. What up? <laughs> Probably shouldn't have used Krampus, but I just wanted to nope out of that room. Getting two hearts from the devil room is your favorite part? Oh. Or the, the sickle shot? I was gonna say, is that glitched out because it's counting it's counting my charmed heart as their heart? That's messed up, man. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was, like it'd be awesome to do a run with just the the sickle shot. Yeah, how do you think they recorded all the noises for this game? They just, <laughs> they just like sent a guy into a recording booth with mashed potatoes and they're just like, go wild, homie. <laughs> oh, the ladder to save the day. Hate you, mask. Hate you. Mm. Hate the mask part. It's the worst. <laughs> Should I take the Necronomicon or is Krampus head good enough, you think? <laughs> That's awesome. Um, super fast, double shots, and sickle. Was it like soy milk, or was it just like the double vision? <laughs> soy milk and sickle <laughs> it would be kind of crazy. Oh, I got to a new floor and I did not. Wait. Look at me go. Yeah, I feel like Krampus is better for single target damage, where Necronomicon's better for, like, clearing a lot of room of little guys. So I registered a podcast yesterday called uh, Effective Nerd Quick Tips, or Quick Hits, and it's just me doing like, 
like very fast list of recommendations. Like the podcast's gonna be ten minutes long. I'm just gonna say, hey, here's you know, ten ways to grow your audience on Twitch, kind of thing. So that should go well. I've been blogging, just like straight writing, for about three years. And now I'm trying to find a way to convert my blog into more video and audio content. The trinket that I pick up. Am I dying right now? What's going on? Jeez, that was the worst room ever. Look, I almost died off that. So a lot of people, a lot of people don't like soy milk for obvious reasons, it's just because it drops your damage so hard. But I find that soy milk is really good with things that proc a lot. So if you get that, um, uh, I can't remember the name of it, but that, uh, that item where like your tear will glow white and then it'll do like the holy beam down when it hits someone like that, that goes well with soy milk. Just because the the high frequency of tears will will help whatever effect proc more often. Thank you, I appreciate it. Nice bomb this. Ugh, that's what I needed. Okay, you guys can die now. Oh. That was a mistake, but... I got lots of tears, it's fine. That was nice. <laughs> Flame tears and pencil proc on, on the first hit. <laughs> That's why I love this game, it's very wacky. I mean, the only, if the only difference is special tiers, obviously take the special tiers. No, I don't think it. W I don't think it'll make that much of a difference. <laughs> Alright. Take that just in case. Bomb this guy. See what up. Isaac! I'm 
a negative. I don't have lamb with him, but. All right, that puts us at 60. Doing great. What's <laughs> all lust? Double lust. Why do I need so many keys? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That ladder has saved my ass so many times this, this run. Give me a few more keys, why don't you? <laughs>
Boo. Trying to, trying to dash at me, sir. That almost just ended the run for me. Oh, can I get a heart from somewhere, please? You? No. Oh. Oof. around with that room all right so we know where the boss is but we have no hearts okay you anything you something please I'm getting. Oh, there's heart over here, it looks like. Not bad. Not bad. Got homeboy right here, too. Thank you. Thanks, buddy. Go fight the boss. Got one, technically two. Grandpa's head saved up. Okay, I get it. <laughs> Thank you for the support, I really need it. I need it so bad right now. Was this mom's heart or is this this regular boss? Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Couldn't have done it without your encouragement, Geeky Bat. <laughs>
Alright. Coffee break. We're at 70 reps. Oh, I said exit. Ooh. <laughs> I noticed one thing going from playing Switch to playing Xbox to playing a PlayStation all the time. I always... Go going from Switch to the other systems is the hardest. Because, you know, like, in most games, like, whatever button is on the bottom is the yes button. And then whatever button is on the right is the no button, but it's the opposite with Nintendo. That was a stupid hit. Yep, so I'll... <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll go to play Switch at night, and then, uh, I'll just get, like, how did I get Mom's Heart on Second Room? Yeah, and I'll just, like, continually X out of the game and stuff. <laughs> So can I get a little more hearts, please? I'll at least fight one more room so I can get... Oh, there's an arcade. Nice. So I can get a... What do you call it? A cool down. Donation machine's broken, like usual. Send in the phone spiders. That's all I wanted. Could have just bombed you for one the whole time. Come on. Can I at least see what's in the secret room. My fear is, yep, yeah, it's gonna bring me super far away for no reason. <laughs> oh, it only brought me two rooms away. Not bad. The two bomber mans. And a crawl space. What's up with crawl spaces this run? This is the third run third one this run. That's hard to say. What? I didn't mean to. I feel like the past 30 seconds of my playing have been so chaotic. <laughs> That's why we love Isaac. Pretty tranky. Alright, what do I gotta do now? I gotta go pick up. Got my card. Free heart. Know what's up. Alright, we should be able to do it lives with two Krampuses.
right, 80. On the one heart, though. Knew that was gonna happen immediately. <laughs> Thanks, I appreciate it. Let's, uh... What should I do next? Roll Eden. <laughs> Still need the lamb with Eden. I need like everything with Lilith. I don't even have, I'm still missing, I think, five characters. Alright, that's 90. Yeah, I know I don't have, like, the ghost one, the skeleton one, <laughs> all the fun ones. The, the keeper, with the greed guy. Azazel. Uh, let's just roll Lilith, see what happens. Should have got Lilith done before I unlocked all the bouncy, <laughs> the stone golems. when this happens, when they get you in like a loop of not being able to hit the enemy. There we go. Got ya. Yeah, it is. <laughs> especially, especially with those stone, uh, the stone guys, because they, uh, one time my, my, uh, my movement speed was so slow, and there was that enemy, the last enemy in the room was stuck in the corner, and they would, they would, like, bump me out, and then bump me out, and then, you know, they do have that little rest period where they're, like, out of breath. But even still, they, uh, 
my character was so slow that they would catch their breath and then hit me out of the way. I, I just had the... I can't remember if I ended the run or I just had to wait until I got lucky, basically. Look at this jump up in here. Are you saw me? <laughs> All right, that was reps ninety through one hundred. All right. Got it going. Get out of here, little baby flames. Uh, so my baby can now climb up onto, not the sofa, but we have a sofa chair. He can climb up onto it by himself now. Starting to walk. I think his record is like seven or eight steps right now. Getting wild. spanked on there it is la 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 that's weird I thought I had this on shuffle and those those two songs go back to back on an, on an album together
Yeah. Yeah, they said <laughs> they said I could get really famous if I just gave him some money, which I mean, why not, right? Money you can always get more money, but famous forever. Speaking of, what's crazy is, uh, this may be the first month where my website hits, uh, what, 20,000 visitors in the month? I used to get, like, 10 to 15, but mad, mad people go into the site this month for some reason. Can't have Guppy's head. I need the treasure chest for Lilith. <laughs> Thanks, I appreciate it. I honestly haven't been working on it that much because I've been trying to get the podcast and the YouTube channel going. So something must be happening. I, I did notice, I have a few articles on my website about the show The Office. I know The Office is leaving Netflix this month. So I wonder if people are just like, let me get as much Office as I can during this month. <laughs> The Office, they already took Parks and Rec off of Netflix, that's, that's awful. One of my favorite shows. Dying over here. I knew I was about to die with all those spiders, so figured I'd hit the oh shit button. <laughs> for the first, for the first time, that's awesome. Yeah, I've seen them. I, I've seen them both more times than I care to admit. That said, I uh, well, my wife and I usually put it on before we go to bed, so it's not like something I like actively watch all the time, but I, ha I have seen it a lot. Yeah, I have an article that I wrote for my website called, um, where I, I made up my own Dundee Awards. So, uh, the article is meant for people who are, like, managers at an office, and, uh, if they were throwing, like, their own office party, like, the different types of, like, superlative Dundee Awards they could give out, and, uh, yeah, like, a, like a, a thousand people a month re read that article. So I wonder, like, so, so the weird thing is, I wonder if anyone has... If a manager has like printed out my article and given it to someone and been like, "Hey, we're having a party. I want you to make awards, like 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 this kind of thing," it's such a weird concept to think about. But it has it has to have happened by now, because I want to say like, what you think? Da -da 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 -da. Around twenty five thousand people have read that article, so one of them had to have some sort of cubicle party. <laughs> Fucking internet's a weird place. But I love it. <laughs> oh yeah. Back when I had a desk at work, no, <laughs> I still have a desk at work, but I've been working from home for about eight months. Uh, I had a Dundee Award on my desk. Like, I'm the guy at work with all the Funkos on his desk. Except all my Funkos are uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> Ooh. 
So people walk up to me at work and they're like, Hey Aaron, what what the fuck is that? Anyways, can I have your expense reports? So I tried to, like, you know, Parks and Rec in the office are leaving because NBC is starting their own streaming platform. And I looked for the app the other day and I couldn't find it. So I don't know if it's, like, officially launched. Like, I found the NBC app, but I didn't see any, like, subscription options or anything. I don't have a bomb. Aw, uh, <laughs> Buddy Christ, that's awesome. Yo, I haven't, wa I haven't watched uh, Dogma in so long. What is, what's Kevin Smith even doing nowadays? I feel like he hasn't been updating his podcast that often. And, uh... What was the last movie he did that came out? Like, was it Yoga Hosers? That was like three years ago at this point, right? Oh, no, no. Uh, Reboot came out. Which I watched the Dance Silent Bob reboot, and it was it was funny in the fact that it was basically word for word Dance Silent Bob Strike Back, but um, I felt like I felt like they didn't try that hard on that movie, which I mean I get it. <laughs> Doing over here. I'm probably not gonna make it much longer, so let's just fill up the donation machine. Damn. Reboot. Wasn't he supposed to do... Was it called Moose Jaws? Moose Jaws with a moose? And it takes place in the town of Moose Jaws. I really, uh... I really liked Tusk. <laughs> but, uh... Yoga Hosers I thought was that. Uh, When I was a teenager, I was obsessed with mall rats, but I also was a mall rat, so like... That movie really spoke to me, because that's exactly what I did every Friday night, was hang out at the mall like that. Yeah, T Tusk was a really cool concept, I was, like, I like uh, Justin Long a lot. Very true. Isn't it always fun when you get to explain to someone that it's like an eight movie series? <laughs> the one thing I never understood, or at least I want to hear the story behind, is why Jay and Silent Bob are in Scream 3 for that, for that brief cameo. Like, I want to hear the story behind that. <laughs> Sounds good. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out. I appreciate it. I'll uh I'll see you around. Definitely have a great day. Alright y'all, that puts us at 110.
Doing awesome this morning. I was off there for a second. Last nice play. <laughs> All right. Hey, what up? Thank you for following Kiwi Three Thousand. How you doing today? There's some uh. Oh shit! Sexy Gundams here. All right, I gotta go, y'all. Peace. Ah. <laughs> what up, dude? How you doing? It's been a, been about a week since we last talked. Kiwi, here's some uh, reps for the follow. Thank you. Oh damn, for real? That puts us at, uh, 120 reps for the stream so far. That's crazy. Uh, how are you liking your new job, though? It's amazing. That's good to hear. You have to go back to the non-new non cycle life. <laughs> Damn, that does sound really good. Oh, by the way, I meant to tell you, I think I came up with a good system, at least for me personally, for putting out uh, podcast episodes and YouTube videos. So I'm actually going to try to produce my, uh, produce my first YouTube video today. Yeah, so the... Does that stop block? <laughs> yeah, true. I mean, podcast useless too on your phone. I already have the first episode of the podcast done, but I haven't released it yet. It's called, um... I called it Effective Nerd Quick, Quick Hits. And it's, uh... Like a, uh... I take the listicles from my website... And then I kind of read, read them and talk about them. How many times we're we gonna roll this fucking room right now? 
<laughs> um, so that way you could you just get like a quick like ten minute dose of like motivation, basically. And then uh, the other thing is. Oh yeah, if I like review a comic book or review a game that I play, I'll just uh, record myself reading it and then make a YouTube video out of it. In the wild, in the wild, the Firebush Chronicles. Ugh. Glad to hear your new job's going well, though. So are you off today? Or you just haven't gone to work yet? I gotta work in 20 minutes. I purposely picked Lilith because I knew I was gonna. I thought I was gonna die pretty quick, but now I'm like doing decent. Ah, uh, word, word. What? They were like, you'll come crawling back to us. <laughs> Nobody leaves Channel 10 News WRKW Minnesota <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they say that. There, there's like, I feel like there are certain kind of jobs where people have that attitude where they're like, the work sucks, but it's an opportunity, so you'll miss it when it's gone kind of thing. That's what... <laughs> yeah, I mean, double money... I don't give a fuck what opportunity you're giving me. <laughs> I used to work at, uh, I used to work at Burger King. And, uh, my manager was yelling at me for something I didn't even do. Something stupid. And she's like, Aaron, if you do that again, I'm gonna fire you. And I just turned around. <laughs> And I threw my arms up and I was like, are you saying I could lose all of this? <laughs> just point, put my arms up towards the kitchen. <laughs> you mean all of this? Yeah, normal sleeping is the best. That, that was like my favorite part about not working retail anymore. Was not having to like, you know, at Burger King, if you work night shift, you get home at like four in the morning. And then, uh, when I used to work at, at a department store, I would get home at like 11. But like, I already want to be chilling. Actually, I can't remember the last time I stayed up until 11, to be honest. <laughs> Nerd rage. <laughs> I don't get, I don't get upset that often. I don't feel like I just, I just like to hang out, chill. <laughs> you mean lose all of this? <laughs> normal sleep schedule um what uh 
We haven't talked in a week. Oh yeah, the uh, so the baby, the baby can basically walk now. His record is like seven steps, and he can also climb up onto our our chair in the living room because he wants to pull on the curtains. So that's good. But now nah, he's doing great. I know, right? I was like, oh, he's gonna surpass me pretty quickly. <laughs> Ooh, I thought that was death, but vantage ball. Game sale. Yeah, back at you. So you, um, what are you doing about streaming? Are you just not, not streaming anymore? Or I feel, I feel like I haven't seen you on in like the past week. I know you said you wanted to take a, a break for a bit. I, I, I honestly haven't been streaming as, as regularly myself. Yeah. That said, I feel good today. Like, li lifting weights and playing Binding of Isaac, I feel like really suits me. <laughs> but I tried playing some other games, and I was just like, nah, it's not. And other other people didn't seem to like it either, because they're like, oh yeah, we're used to watching Aaron play Binding of Isaac, why is he playing Destiny 2 right now? <laughs> Yeah, that's a good point. I am gonna need I am gonna need you to uh critique my uh critique my video editing skills once I get my first video going. <laughs> Oh. Still editing for Blender? That's cool. So I, I've been seeing Blender on, but it's always like when I'm about to fall asleep, they come on. Oh, that's death. A business business? Well, you know me. That's what I'm good at. <laughs> the, uh... What was I gonna say? I gotta get going myself, because I gotta work in a few minutes. Got planners for everything. That's what I... Well, you mean planners as in people, or as in, like, notebooks? Because <laughs> I, uh, I have a few spreadsheets that I work off of, and then I... Sure, I've showed you. I have my phone modded. Have like my to-do list and everything on it. But yeah, um, let her know if she ever needs any advice or anything about like online marketing. I can uh, I'll lend a hand wherever I can. It looks like this is gonna be the first month where my website hits uh, twenty thousand views. Isn't bad. Yeah, dude. <laughs> we we uh when I hit like 25, 30,000, then I'll become eligible for like the higher tier uh ad ad management companies. I can start running ads on my site again. The problem with a lot of the lower lower tier ad management companies is that they slow your site down so much that it's almost not worth the money because you're losing so much user experience, but once I get uh 
once I grow a little bit more, I should be able to get into a better company. <laughs> I hope so. Alright, dude, I gotta get going. I gotta work myself. But, thank you for stopping by. I'll, uh, I'll definitely be in touch with uh, some of the things I'm doing over the next few days. You too. Have a great day at work. <laughs> Peace, everyone.